Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I'm Star. Okay, baby, I don't know why I'm getting the, you know, the notion of, you know, I got the Savage shirt on. So, we're going to see what these messages about to be about. Baby Gorgeous, you know what I'm saying, led me to grab this shirt just because, you know what I'm saying. And maybe it's, it's, it's a reason. Anywho, I'm here with a dream. Now, this is a very long dream. Not only is it a very long dream, but it's kind of like the dream came in sections. And I believe it's three sections. So in the first part of the dream, I saw a woman that was um, living at home. And um, like when I say at home, like she was staying with her parents. The guy that she's dating um, comes to visit her. When he comes to visit her, he starts flirting with her mom. And then he begins, he starts to go into their kitchen and starts cooking for her mom. When she sees this, she gets very angry and she decides that she's not going to date him anymore. Once he realizes that, you know what I'm saying? This is overtime, y'all. But anyways, once he realizes that she done with him because of what he was doing, he decides that he wants to try to fix it, but she's done with him. The second dream, the same woman and man are in a relationship. They are living in a house together. Someone who seems to be this guy's friend starts creeping around with the woman behind the guy's back. He, uh, the guy eventually catches them while this other guy is leaving out of, it's like this house was weird because it was kind of like, it was like a little side door that was connected to one of the rooms. And I, like, I don't even know how to describe it, but it's kind of like it was a, a side door where the friend was just sneak out and pretend like that they, they wasn't even there. And for whatever reason, the woman and the man had separate rooms. But anyways, the guy catches him. Okay. Then he comes in and he makes him sit down. Okay. And he begins to stab the woman in the ear with a knife. And she like... It's like, it, it was so gruesome, y'all. It's like he took the knife and he started, like, scraping the skin out of her ears. I'm like, oh, my goodness. And he begins laughing. As he, like, he's laughing while he's doing this to her. And he tells his friend that he needs to pay him because he was, you know what I'm saying? He said, you got to pay me now. And that's that, Drew. That's that, that's that part, okay? And the last... A uh, little section of the dream. The guy and the woman are in this same. It's the same house. And um, the guy's friend that was in the other dream. But I guess in this dream, it wasn't a situation where they were messing around. It's like everything had been going. The friend comes over. And he says that... Um, He's interested in being intimate with someone. And the guy who is the boyfriend decides to offer up the girlfriend to sleep with his friend. However, the friend is like basically reading the room and the energy. It's like the energy changed immediately. And the friend is like, nah. And the girlfriend speaks up and says that she wasn't interested either. Um... And now, at this point, the woman is kind of like, you know, in a daze, feeling awkward. Um, I'm even looking at this little, uh, one of the emotion toys that um, I kept, you know what I'm saying? Me and my son, we, we went to go see the movie, what is it called? Inside Out 2. And he has the one of the, the main new character, which is Anxiety. And I have the one of Embarrassment, okay? Which matches my pink vibes, you know what I'm saying? But anywho, and my shyness, my shy introvertedness. But anyways, <laughs> um, so she's sitting in the chair. She is kind of like, it's like her head is spinning. And I was able to feel these emotions, like her head is spinning. She doesn't understand why the guy that she's dating was trying to offer her up to somebody else. And she begins to, you know, question 
Am I not attractive anymore? Is Has he lost interest in me? Should I let the relationship go? Um, do I need to lose weight? Do I need to do this? Do I, new, do I need to change my hair? Should I change the way I dress? What is it? What's wrong with me? That my man wants to offer me up to his friend. I don't know where there's a guy sitting behind her. So the friend was like over here. The, the boyfriend was like over here. And the guy, other guy was over here in the corner. Okay, just to give y'all a visual idea. And he asked her if she has ever tried the Jesus diet. And she looks at him and says, I'm going on one right now. Uh, she says, I'm going on one right now where I breathe nothing but God every day until I receive a breakthrough. So let's get the scripture, baby. Those are the three dreams. The first scripture comes from Amos. Eight and ten. And have turned your festivals to mourning and all your songs to lamentation and cause sackcloth to come upon all loins and on every head baldness and made it as a mourning of an only one and its latter end as a day of bitterness. Behold, days are coming, a, de a declaration of the Lord Yahweh. And I have sent a famine into the land, not a famine of bread, not nor a thirst of water, but of hearing the words of Yahweh. Okay, so the first message, um, well, the first, upon the first scripture, okay, and it may just be the first message. God is saying that for somebody, you have been seeing so many red flags in this person that you are dating, interested in, or whatever, and it's like you absolutely are ignoring every single one. And I'm seeing a vision of uh, a man, I'm assuming this man is Jesus, this is God, having a big old red flag and just going like, shh, shh. Even thinking about the fact that I have on red today. Like God said, you have received red flag after red flag after red flag that something is not right. And it's like, regardless if you don't want to believe it, you are ignoring it. You want it to work so bad. God said, like, I just feel like I'm being reminded of something that I learned when I was starting my business, you know. And that is the way the world works, okay, the way, the way things work, it don't matter what it is that you're doing, even if it's something bad. If you put a certain amount of energy into that thing every day is going to eventually grow. And when it comes to toxic relationships, when you are dealing with somebody that is toxic, it don't matter, you know what I'm saying, how toxic the person is. The relationship is going to, it's like it's going to gain traction. No matter what, they could be doing the bare minimum. They could be absolutely terrible. It could be a situation where, you know what I'm saying, they halfway feel like they don't even like you. But on the other hand, you're there. You know what I'm saying? And I just feel like God is saying, this is somebody, you are literally just allowing somebody to get over on you. I wasn't even trying to say that. I was going to say get away with things. But for somebody, somebody is getting over on you. And for somebody, you are like you allowing them to get away with this, that, 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 that. You just forgive them for everything. God said, why are you doing this? 
At some point, when are you going to open your eyes and realize this man ain't no good for you, sis? Ain't no good. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just, just going over these dreams. You know what I'm saying? And the first one, if a man is flirting with your mama, son ain't right. Period. 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 I can't stress that enough. Either this man is a narcissist, this is a man that's trying to have control over you, something ain't right. And I'm not talking about somebody just genuinely being nice or someone trying to build a connection with your parents because they have intentions on marrying you. But you got to read the room. If they ain't treating you with at least half of what they treating your parents with, your mom or whoever, something is not right. It don't make sense for a man that is very aggressive, abusive, controlling, very temperamental, like, you know what I'm saying, towards you to put on face in front of your mama. Why are they doing that? If they acting like they don't like you, they acting like they don't want to be around you, they acting like it's a stress and it's a problem to spend any kind of time with you. But then all of a sudden when your mama walk in the room, they are angel. What's going on? And you know what I'm saying? And I'm just being real. It was to such an extent in this dream that this woman started to become jealous and envious of her mother because this man was giving her mother the attention she deserved. She, like, she was thinking he ain't never cooked for me. He don't talk to me like that. He don't even treat me like that. Guess what? Then leave him. If he can't treat you right. Like, ain't no way. I can't stunt. I don't want to be with nobody. I like you, I, I don't want no man that's trying to make me feel envious, jealous, or anything like that over nobody. Because if I'm yours, then that means you can treat me like a queen because I know I'm going to treat my man like a king. So if he ain't treat me like a queen, then it's, not, it's a problem. It's a problem. It's a problem. Now, I know it's the difference between somebody that's just talking and somebody that's dating. <clears throat> somebody that's just friends and somebody that's in a relationship but i feel like this is another point when you are dating someone when you are talking to someone when you befriend someone pay attention to their behaviors the way they act and what they got going on because some of y'all you know what i'm saying i just feel like god saying don't even waste your time with somebody they showing you in the stage of being friends and dating that they interest in you is real low because it really ain't gonna take a man too long to figure out if he want to be serious with you or not if he's still confused he's looking for something else and that's just real and you know what i'm saying it should never be a situation where when you around this man when you're spending time with this man when you are you know what i'm saying you are unsure of how they feel about you you should know for a fact. And you know what I'm saying? Especially if it's a situation where you're trying to introduce them to somebody, especially your parent, your mother, okay? Or even your father, you're trying to introduce them to your family. And they acting a certain kind of way, you know what I'm saying? Treating you a certain kind of way. And this dream, this man kind of like pushed her off to the side and was giving 100% of his attention to her mama. Now, it ain't nothing wrong with being respectful, like I said. It ain't nothing wrong with, you know what I'm saying, being kind, being nice, even being generous with somebody that you see as your potential spouse's parents. But what it is the problem is with is the fact that of how this person did this. You know what I'm saying? Because I really feel like this will be a situation for whoever this is for where this man will try to gaslight you and make you feel like you the problem. No, you're not the problem. This is, I don't know who this is for. You are not the problem. If you are in a relationship with somebody, they should be treating you with love, with respect, with compassion. Passion. Love is not uh, anger. Love is not jealousy love is not aggression and if they are only giving you that but everybody else they are being loving kind compassionate and sweet to something ain't right and in this dream she was like i'm gonna let y'all be together and i'm out the door you know what i'm saying goodbye and good riddance 
to the both. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't even see why a mother would even tolerate that. You know what I'm saying? If you see your child is uncomfortable and your child is feeling some kind of way, why would you carry on doing that? And you know you are hurting your child. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and the sad thing is, you know, like uh, I talked about this before, it's going to be a lot of packed nursing homes because, baby, I'm just being honest. I'm just being real. But anyways, and, and you know, it ain't going to be the same as it was for prior generations because a lot of people don't want to work. Like as a CNA, as a nursing assistant, as quiet as it's kept. It's one of those professions where so many people that are always talking down on nursing assistants and so many people making nursing assistants feel as though they are unimportant and their job doesn't matter. And a lot of them have this notice that, you know what I'm saying, you might as well work at some of these other places than to work as a CNA because they, the pay is, is not, you know what I'm saying. And I just feel like when it really comes down to it, I, 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 you know what I'm saying, from people I've talked to and, you know what I'm saying, just like, you know, on social media and all that, it's a lot of nurses that have been complaining that they don't have as many CNAs on staff as they used to. And they have had a problem with the CNAs being able to do, the nurses are starting to have to do that. Or the, uh, who, whoever used to be a med aide has to go on the floor now as a CNA. And you know what I'm saying? It could get to a point where they don't want to do it no more. Well, guess who got to get on the flow now? The nurses. And you know what I'm saying? This is just, I'm just saying, I'm saying this to say, because I'm in my experience and working as a CNA, I have worked with maybe three, three nurses. And I'm talking about LVNs. I'm not even talking about RNs that will actually get on the flow with a smile on their face. The rest, uh-uh, they knows in the air. They don't care if you got the whole nursing home to yourself. You got to do it by yourself. They not helping. They ain't going to help you lift nobody. They ain't going to help you do nothing, shower nobody, none of that. And that's just real. And you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying that to say the care is not going to be, you know what I'm saying, what it used to be. Because it was different when I was a CNA. We were fully staffed. For, for the most part. I worked when it was short a few times. I worked at a few nursing homes that just could not keep nobody a few times. But for the most part, fully staffed. And when you have, when it's full staff, when everybody is there, it runs a lot smoother. There's time to do, you know, the little simple things. You have the time to see what kind of spray she want to wear today. You have the time to actually do the hair the way they like it. You have the time to do certain things. But when it, the staff is not there, baby, everybody's staying in the bed. How? Like, how? You know what I'm saying? It, like it's it's hey, lunch and bre breakfast, lunch and dinner is taking a long, a lot longer than it usually would because all the people that need to be fed now you got to take out. You know what I'm saying? That's thirty minutes per person. I'm just being real, and you know what I'm saying. And I, I, but anyways, moving on with that to the second dream, where the woman made a choice. That was stupid to me. Like, I just felt like, why in the world? You know what I'm saying? First of all, if you are in a relationship, why are you cheating? If it's a situation where your person is not taking care of you, you know what I'm saying? And I'm saying, if you're married and your spouse is withholding intimacy from you, that's something y'all need to talk about. Because according to the Bible, not only does the wife body and her affections belong to her husband but the husband's as well so if the husband is withholding intimacy that's a problem that's actually a sin against the marriage and it's something that should be brought up in discussion it's something that should be talked about you know what i'm saying and to be honest at a certain extent nine out of ten there's some uh uh you know some some foul play going on nine out of ten because if he is withholding his affection from you where is he getting it from and we already know that god said the only way that he authorizes a divorce, that he acknowledges a divorce is through adultery. So if a man is cheating, 
You have all rights to leave. But one thing that I don't understand is why anybody would stay and cheat. You know, and I guess some people think that even if we we both acting a fool and we both doing our own things, we're going to stay together forever because we just love each other so much. But I did not feel that in this dream. They were in two completely different rooms. Love where? How? Or like they like, and it wasn't just a situation where you know, like how some women have beauty rooms and they'll have like you know what I'm saying, an office or a little workout room. No, baby, this was a full blown bedroom with the bed and the you know what I'm saying, all her clothes and stuff is in there. And he got a whole nother room. Where's the love? Where's the relationship? How are y'all? Why are y'all still together? Y'all might as well just be roommates. Or y'all might as well go and get you a roommate. What's the point? What's the point? And you know what I'm saying? I just feel like it is not smart to be in a situation. If it is a roommate situation, y'all need to go ahead and set up the boundaries. And you know what I'm saying? If it's not a relationship, say that thing. If y'all just friends, say that thing. And you, uh, my advice would be to withhold laying down with somebody, being intimate with somebody that's not your spouse. That's not your person. And then on top of that, living with them. Because, see, this is, this is basically like shacking up with extra steps. That's what I feel like it is. It's shacking up with extra steps. Because y'all stay together. You know what I'm saying? Y'all basically have some kind of relationship. Y'all intimate with each other. And you know what I'm saying? Apparently feel some kind of way about somebody. You know what I'm saying? Because the guy, when he found out, was pissed. So, uh, And I'm saying that to say that this is a situation where there is some kind of relationship. But so it's, it's just like, where are the rules? Where are the regulations? Did y'all not talk about this here? Did, is it just, was it just ignored? You know what I'm saying? And if you get to a point to where you feel like the relationship is over and you can't fix it, why would you stay and cheat instead of just leaving? And, you know what I'm saying, separating, healing from whatever it is you went through in that relationship. And then going on about your business and moving on with your life. But I just feel like this is a situation for whoever this is for. God is saying if your person is not, if they dropping the ball and they not handling business and they not making sure you good. And they too busy worried about being in other people's face trying to make sure they good. And you know what I'm saying? You sitting in the bed lonely every night. Meanwhile, he up in this girl face, that girl face, and that one over there. You at home wishing, wanting to go out. But you can't go out because he don't like when you go out. But he always out taking this one out. He taking that one out. He chasing after this one. He chasing after that one. Go ahead and call it quits then. What's the point of dragging that on? Red flag. Mayday, mayday. Red flag. Let it go. And good riddance. Goodbye, good riddance. You know what I'm saying? You always by, you're there by yourself anyway. Go ahead and call the moving truck and take your stuff up out of that end. You know what I'm saying? And I know that it's a lot of people that they always feel like they got to be the big and bad and they got to put them out and they love packing up the stuff in the trash bags and throwing it out and, you know, sitting on the driveway or throwing all the clothes on the front yard. Baby, me personally, I don't have time for all that drama. Mm -mm. I'm going to pack all my stuff up nicely and neatly and I am leaving. And you can sit there. You, all your stuff, I ain't touching nothing. I don't want it. I don't want none of that stuff. And one thing about this is because sometimes some men have it in their mind. She only with me for this. She only with me for that. She only want this. She want that. She going to do this. She going to do that. So I love that fact when I, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I bet she, I bet she, and you can't say nothing. I ain't take nothing because I ain't want it in the first place. All I wanted was you to act right. But you act like it was such a hard task for you to act right, for you to treat me right, since it was so difficult and it was so hard. Let me get out the way so I can be happy by myself and you can go and do whatever it is you want to do. Woo! 
Now, when it comes to the last drip, baby, I feel like this one right here is kind of connected to the second one because it's still a situation where the man and the woman have a disconnect. They have, uh, it's a, the woman, she looked like she was real stressed out. She looked like she been going through it. Like this man just been dragging her through, just been stressing her out. She haven't been taking care of herself because he been stressing her out. God said, if you, like, once again, if it's that bad, if you keep on getting all these red flags, baby, let it go. Okay, moving on, because this video is getting very long, and I was not expecting it to. The next scripture Second scripture comes from 1 Enoch 69 and 18. And through that, the oath, the sea was created. And at its foundation, he set forth the sand against the time of its anger. And it does not dare pass beyond it from the creation of the world and continuously. So here's what God said. God said he has, there's a way of things. There's a way things are supposed to function. There's a way things are supposed to happen. There's an order to things. There's an order to things. It's a reason that a man finds a wife and not the other way around. Because if you put yourself in a position where you chasing after a man, you are setting yourself up for failure. Because if that man ain't chasing after you, and he ain't trying to be with you. And he ain't trying to spend time with you. And he ain't trying to get with you. And men are natural hunters. And he's not hunting you. Then you are in a situation where you are basically like this is I feel like this is a situation where women end up hearing that you're trying to force me this. You're trying to force me that. You're trying to make me this. And men don't like that. You know what I'm saying? You want to be with the guy that is chasing after you. You want to be with the guy that wants to be with you. You want to be with the guy that is bending over backwards to get your attention. That is wanting to take you out. That's wanting to do this. That's wanting to do that so that they can have you. And then if they're doing all that to get you, when they do have you, they will continue doing whatever it is they need to do to keep you. Men that love the woman that they with do not cheat because they know if they cheat, they sacrifice losing the woman they love. <clears throat> Men that love the woman that they love, they don't do certain things. They take her out because they know she want to go out and they will prefer her be out with them than for her to go out by herself because that's only logic. You know what I'm saying? If you don't want the woman out by herself because you know that men are going to holler at her up. Bright idea, light bulb, that means you need to take her out there. Then you ain't got to worry about that because you're right there. And this is only logic. And this is coming from somebody, you already, you already know, I was married. So I, I know that logic. You know what I'm saying? I, if I, I knew that my ex had to go out in order to work. And I ain't know why, you know what I'm saying? Instead of me sitting at home with my mind spinning, trying to figure out what he doing, I'm coming. Yes, bet. I am coming. Yes, bet. I'm sitting in the corner watching everything. Yes, bet. Period. And, and that's just what it is. I'm not going to stop you from doing what you got to do. I'm not going to stop you from going out and enjoying your life. But we for sure, for sure going to have to find a compromise. Period. And I'm just saying this to say, you know what I'm saying? I just feel like God is saying there's a natural order to things. And for whoever this is for, you know what I'm saying? If you feeling like this message is for you, especially if you made it to back here and you feel like this message for you and you in a relationship full of red flags, bag, bag. And let that man figure out if he really want to be with you or not. Because if he do, he ain't finna let you go nowhere. If he really want to be with you, he's going to make it very evident that he wants to be with you. He is going to fix whatever problems is going on. It's not going to be a situation where he's just going to be like, well, oh, well, I don't know what to tell you then. Well, you know what I'm saying? You don't know what, to, what, what should you tell him? Okay. And I just feel like that's what he God said. It's a natural order to things. You can avoid all this happening when you are with somebody that really want to be with you. 
A man that really want to be with you is not going to be trying to flirt with your mama. A man that really want to be with you is not going to be trying to uh, be up in nobody else's space. They not going to want to have no separate bedrooms. It's not going to be a situation where you on one side of the house and they on the other side of the house all the time. And y'all don't ever talk to each other. And you feel like y'all are roommates instead of in a married. No. In a relationship, married, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Regardless if it's just come in law marriage or y'all actually married. They ain't finna do that. It's not finna be a situation where you are, you know what I'm saying, trying to, you know, get their attention. And they trying to pass you off to their friend. That would not come out of no man that actually wants the woman that he is with is going to ever fix his mouth to say that he thinks it's okay for her to lay down with his friend. Let's be real. That's the message. I don't know who this for. I don't know who this for. But God said for somebody, you need to go back to the drawing board. Somebody needs to go back to the drawing board. And when you go back to the drawing board, don't you go there trying to say what you, you know what I'm saying? It's good to have an idea of your ideal mate. You know what I'm saying? As far as for the women, it's a good idea to know exactly what kind of man you want to be with. It is a very good idea to know what you don't want. However, you also have to go um, out with the mindset that you are not um, on the prowl for anybody. You are not the hunter. You are not the one that should be trying to be um, trying to pick somebody up and you trying to do this and you trying to do that. And I know that. Um, there are certain things going on in society that makes it kind of difficult, but baby, I'm just being real. For whoever this for, God said, uh, at, 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 you don't go out trying to hunt and find a man. You allow the man that wants you, he gonna come for you. The man that wants you is going to approach you. The man, let allow a man to be a man. Because once a woman starts trying to take control of that relationship, it begins to make the man feel as though he is being controlled and he's he can't breathe. And he's like, you know what I'm saying? So I just feel like God is saying it's just bad all around when you put yourself in a position to where you're trying to control a man and you're chasing after a man. Allow him to chase you. It's a turn off. Allow him to chase you. And that's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And one other thing. Allow him to be the one to push the relationship forward. And if he decides that he's not going to push the relationship forward, be smart enough to take note. Be smart enough to take no. And it don't have to be a situation because, remember, you're not pushing a relationship forward. And because you are not the one that's pushing a relationship forward, you have to take out the time to just be like, okay, apparently he don't want to be with me. I'm just going to, you know what I'm saying, get over him and move on. Apparently, you know what I'm saying, we just friends. That That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? After a certain amount of time, you know what I'm saying? Of y'all just being friends, it's just kind of like, okay, what what you, you know what I'm saying? Because you, 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 I just feel like this is somebody, you know what I'm saying? If this is like, it's not fair to you for somebody to uh claim you as a friend, as an associate, as somebody they don't really mess with like that, while simultaneously expecting to get benefits as if y'all in a relationship. Make it make sense. God said if they want a relationship, they need to go ahead and say that. And if they are not saying that and they are saying they don't want a relationship with you, then you need to take note of that. Okay, that's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Deuces.